Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another online challenge video with Fail Games. So this time the challenge was see what the best Korean car on Forza Horizon 4 was. So I got first choice of car, so I went for the Kia Stinger because it's nicer of the two cars basically, um, which left the Hyundai Veloster N um, as the other car. Um, which was obviously tuned up to match the class of the Stinger so that it was a fair competition. Um, but yeah, we took these two cars for a series of challenges and this is what happened. Um, so yes, as the first challenge we are going to race to a speed zone and then get a best time to it. So the speed zone we're going to race to is uh, the Bridlewood one, which I've set a route to. Um, so first one there gets half a point, fastest speed through the speed zone gets half a point. Sure. Hang on, I'll turn around so I'm facing the right way. I'll tell you we start, start on this road here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. There we go. In 100 yards, I'm front wheel right. drive, your rear wheel drive. Yep. I did tune this slightly so we're the same PI. Are we ready? Yep, count us down when you're ready to go. Two. One. Go! Right, our destination's that way, but the route wants us to go this way, okay? Yes. <laughs> so that way we'll be off road. Sure. Which, going by my paint job, I should have gone. Whoa. Turn sharp right. No. You passed. Oh no, that's actually that's actually. Oh a problem. this is this is the speed zone. <laughs> Wait, speed zones aren't necessarily about the racing line, are they? You need to go fast. For as long as possible. Yeah. Not through the thing as quickly as possible. Oh, I've gone a bit wide. Okay, I think you won half a point. I got 104.64 through there, so... That was close. I got 105.02. Oh, so it's half a point each. Um. For a second challenge, because, well, it's winter, we're going to not follow tradition and skip straight to the drag racing. In this case, the ice strip drag race. Half a point for oh, the yes. winner of the drag race, half a point for the first person to the start of the drag race. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, go. Go. I always need to wait slightly after I say go because I say go a lot faster oh, no, than you a actually hear it. Delay on the. This thing isn't half bad, actually. Ah! Why did it do that? Where are we going? Oh, no. Lost. <laughs> yeah, the map's going to take us right around the other side of the lake as well, so... At some point, we have to... These are really close, so I know they're at the same PI levels, so that sort of makes sense, but still. Yeah, usually there's some difference in Forza. Sprint across the lake. Oh, goes off the road. Right, this is where this thing is apparently at home, according to my paint job. Whoa, here we go. Where's the actual... Uh, locate the drag strip. Oh, it's to the right, to the right. Oh, this is the drag strip. Oh, oh yeah, I'm on that. I went too wide. 
We're good. One. Oh no. <laughs> Spent too long trying to figure out where it actually was. 1.5.5 of a human life. Or as one of my friends called it in the car, a Huawei. <laughs> I mean, same thing. <laughs> kind of whether I can get the power down the rear wheel drive on the ice. So I think you'll have me but off the front line. Wheel the front wheel drive is traditionally drive. slower. This is true, but. Oh, um, this was a very boring start. Normally in the world of Forza, it gets a bit more traction off the line, but. No, it's been pretty oh. much even. You just got me because I had to change up. <laughs> and I've got you because you just had to change up and now you've got me again. I think I might have slightly more power in this still. Yeah. That was the world's most boring drag race. <laughs> it was. Does that take us that way? Yeah, up to this street race. Um. So, one point for getting to the street race first, and then one point for whoever wins the race. Ooh. So turn around. I'll turn when around, face the so. right way. So if we get both, that's going to be it. It's good. Actually got some stakes for once. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. Are you ready? Yeah. Three. Two, one, go. Timing on that soul is perfect this time. Yeah. Down past. Oh, why is there a rock there? Okay, that one. Sure, I'll just sort of both and done that. <laughs> I'm taking a different route. <laughs> At the roundabout, take the first oh, this bit's actually Someone has a hole here. Yeah, there's the hole. I managed to land perfectly somehow. Okay, apparently this gate. is a road, so I'm going to say this is an <laughs> That it isn't is, but I'm, road. I'm on some nice tarmac oh. out here, so... It's really confusing what's a road and what isn't. In oh no! There's a blue Korean car. <laughs> that didn't go well. Oh, it's one of these very twisty roads. Nice. Let's go! Come on. There you go. Power is down. Oh, okay. I missed that checkpoint. <laughs> oh! I don't know how, I literally drove through the flare. Checkpoints in Forza are weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> After the race on Saturday, we did another race in hypercars in the snow, and I'm sure I missed it, but apparently I didn't miss it. <laughs> I would like the checkpoint. Of, you could see it, there was air in between the checkpoint. Oh, I nearly missed that bridge. That bridge? Oh. Oh, that bridge. Yeah, the one, like, a mile behind you. <laughs> oh, I just... at a wall. Whoa! How's that for an interior? Everything lights up blue. Yeah. This Mine's is very boring. Got a G-meter! That's cool. Why does this have a G meter? What use does anyone who owns this car have for a G meter? Why do the the vents and the screen in the <laughs> middle of this car's interior looks like a Mercedes for some reason? My interior has a, I've got one of those rev counters that you've got on race cars where it goes green, green, yellow, red. <laughs> Why do I have? Because obviously you need that in a Veloster. Turn around. When okay. It's safe to do for so. the deciding challenge. We have a sprint down the motorway for half a point. Okay. And we have a race afterwards. 
for one and a half points. Three, two, one, go. I think next time I'll just beat when yards. we start. Turn left. <laughs> that might be quick. Turn left. This is where I need to actually get some time. I'll, we follow the sat nav so we go around the roundabout, not around just around the track. roundabout. At the roundabout. Oh no, there's the suddenly exit. buses and trucks everywhere. Are there? Oh, have you, I the have traffic. no traffic. Have we got the traffic desync? I've just yeah, I've got absolutely no traffic. <laughs> I've just battered an Audi off the road. <laughs> take the second exit. Whoa! Oh, I can't Whoa. take that roundabout. Okay, we'll just go this way, sure. I'm ahead. By a bit. Let's get back up to speed again. Okay, what other gadgets Whoa. do we have? Whoa! <laughs> I just thought that was you. <laughs> no, this is a madman in the Ferrari. Sorry mate, I'm let's, in a race, so I can't accept your head-to-head -head in case it goes in a stupid direction. I had a massive crash Why with the barrier. Why is suggesting going up, left? Oh, right no, never again. mind. I almost overtook a Ferrari. And I just then it... overtook a BMW <laughs> M4 GTS, I think that was. Yeah, I passed him. Okay, I've got sort of... I've gone past a Ferrari and a Hyundai at the oh, same also... time. Ah. I hate this noise. <laughs> the Ferrari's back. Why would you put that wing on that Ferrari? I know that is. You have committed quite horrible. a crime against humanity, sir. Ah! Land Rover! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any traffic! Take the second exit. I'm not going to win anyway, let's just... <laughs> nah, I cut that corner, that doesn't count. <laughs> You're always here first anyway. Yeah. Right, this is about two and a half to two. So, who can succeed here? The Elmsden on Sea Sprint. I love how with the back lights on this thing, they designed them to look nice from the back and then thought, oh, they need to be visible from the side as well, and just stuck like a line on the side. Oh yes! Oh my god, I hadn't, I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> There's a lot tied to corner, but you're still in the lead. Yeah, I believe almost I came gaining. off the road. Oh, I'm no. fast. Come on, man, you need to be faster. Otherwise, we have to claim that the human guy is better. Come on, Stinger. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a bump. No, oh, it's no. passed again. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fast. I promise that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I didn't expect there to be a wall there. Right, now I've got to catch up. Why is there a wall there? Because Forza? I mean, that's as good a reason as any. <laughs> I love how there's like grandstands packed with people to watch this race. Yeah. Oh, I thought okay. I was going into that wall. <laughs> that was actually closer than I expected after I crashed. Yeah, you caught up quite well then. <laughs> but we still have to come to the conclusion that the Kia Stinger is the better car. Because nobody knew that before we started. Because <laughs> that wasn't obvious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somewhere there's a marketing uh, bloke from Hyundai watching this going, hmm. 
And I'm going to deduct two and a half points from this Hyundai for having such a stupid rev counting thing at the top. Where it's completely unnecessary <laughs> and doesn't even look right. You can't I feel like... see it properly. It's in a really stupid place. <laughs> I feel like this should have half a point deducted for the rear lights being weird on okay, the sides. Okay, yeah, so let's deduct some half a point for that as well. <laughs> If you watch my footage, the interior view is just stupid. So, there we go. That was the, the best Korean cars challenge. Um, we both decided we'd prefer the, the Kia Stinger anyway. And, yeah, it, it did win, so... There we go. The best Korean car on Forza Horizon 4 is the Kia Stinger. Um, which we kind of all expected and knew anyway. Um, but there we go, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to go and check out Fail Games' channel as well, he does lots of other gaming stuff um, similar to what is on this channel, so if you like the stuff here you'll enjoy his content too. So yeah, make sure you go and check out his channel, it will be linked below. But otherwise that's going to be all for this video, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll be back with the next video very soon.